friends, how you doing? Welcome to the Coastal Walk Chat with Anna Coyman and Dr. Jill Kamberg. Hi, <laughs> We're back at it. So um, last week we do a Coastal Walk together every single Friday and last week we did one um, about some summer hazards because today is actually the first day of summer in Australia. That's what they, they, they go for. The actual day is what day? The 21st, the equinox. But today's first day summer here. Yeah, so that's what we did last week because Dr. Jill Camberg, you can check out our website, drjillcamberg.com. She's one of my best friends in the whole world. My new friend here in Australia, she's actually Canadian. We went to Asia together and we followed that journey at all. Um, last week we were talking about doing Thanksgiving together. Let's go and say hi to some people who are just hopping on. Hello from North Carolina. Hi, how's it going? In my mind, I'm going to Carolina. Let's see. So where we are right now is at Bronte Beach. Um, but what I was going to say is um, the reason that we did this last week was Jill was doing an interview, one of her first radio interviews, and the topic was about summer hazards. So that's why we talked about that. Today, we're going to do some other medical things. She is um, a GP, a general practitioner here at Double Bay Doctors and Bondi Doctors. And hey everybody, thanks so much for jumping on. It's so good to see everybody here. And listen, tag a friend or share this with a friend if you think they'd like to say hello. Um, but the thing that's on my mind, as you can probably imagine this day, I can't really get away from it, <laughs> is this growing baby in my belly. And um, last night I took a ferry. Um, you gotta check out that other live feed because I did one in Circular Key that was so cool. But I, I took a ferry um, into Sydney Harbor from Rose Bay, which is just, I don't know, about a 10 minute drive or so from Bondi, and went to my husband's Christmas party. But you know what Christmas parties are known for, right? I mean, well, <laughs> a lot of things they're known for. Um, but all the good food and drink, and I had to stay away from a lot of it, being pregnant. You know, you can't eat the soft cheeses. I obviously couldn't drink my dirty martinis that I like, or my Pinot Noir wine, or from when you're pregnant and some things that you really need to make sure you're you're getting even more of so Jill trying to get into radio and TV and uh, check out her website drjillgamberg.com want to make sure I get that in one more time um, she's been prepping for some radio interviews so as we go up these stairs here's the other thing <laughs> look at these stairs <laughs> now that I'm pregnant, I'm getting very winded very quickly. So I'm going to ask the, you the first question before we go up there. Jill, what do we need to stay away from? And you can take it away while I huff and puff up these stairs. So now I get to huff and puff while I'm walking You're up You're not going to be huffing and puffing. <laughs> okay, well, um, basically everything in moderation is, is a good rule while pregnant. But there are some certain foods that you do need to try and stay away from because they, you know, there's risks of getting you sick and, and you really don't want to become sick when you're pregnant. So things like, like Anna mentioned, um, if any raw and undercooked foods are really worth staying away from. So for example, eggs, you know, those lovely poached soft eggs, probably not the best idea, uh, but uh, if you get them well cooked, then the eggs are fine. Things like sushi, unfortunately, all sushi lovers out there, not the best food. So if I'm going to a sushi restaurant, what can I eat? Like I've, I've been like, can you make me some teriyaki chicken or something? So you can still go to a sushi restaurant. You just have to stay away from everything that's not yeah. been cooked, right? Right, exactly. So if you get the cooked chicken, just make sure they heat it up for you there. Or you get your bits of raw fish cooked. Um, that's all fine to eat. But certainly things like oysters, raw oysters, you really shouldn't be eating that. Okay, what about soft cheeses? Oh, unfortunately, they're a no-no. Who doesn't love a nice gooey brie or a camembert or a beautiful feta, raw feta or something? All of those are risk of listeria. So you really want to steer clear of any of those, at least so, for a few months. Yeah, so the idea though, um, with some of them, right, is, is that they need to be pasteurized and a lot of the soft cheeses aren't. What about if you have a cooked feta cheese or a cooked goat cheese or brie or something, is that fine? And as long as it's uh, a, you know, stored properly, so in a proper fridge, doesn't hang outside for a while. And then if you do eat it, make sure that it's really well cooked or heated up. Okay, cool. What else? Deli meat. Can I have yeah. my deli meat? Can I have my subs? Unfortunately, 
unfortunately, you know, most people think that these are a cooked food, but they're not. All deli meats are actually smoked or uh, preserved with nitrates, uh -huh. which everyone should eat in moderation anyway. But certainly, unfortunately, when you're pregnant, it's a bit of a no-no because they're yeah. often sitting out, in a, you know, in a case uh -huh. and just not well refrigerated. Yeah. You don't know how many hours they've been out there. Of course. Yeah. Well, I remember I actually was freaking out about this when um, I was back in the States in New York City for a few days when I was doing all the Proud American coverage. Do you remember that, friends, um, for July 4th? And I was back and, of course, staying in a hotel and you're rushing around trying to find places to eat. And I ate deli meat several times from the little bodega. And then I went to North Carolina and did all the fun um, July 4th Proud American things for Fox and everything. And I saw some of my friends in North Carolina who either were pregnant or had babies. And I wasn't telling anybody that I was pregnant at the time because I was not very far along. Um, but she said something to me about girl, you, um, you know what I miss so much is deli meat. I used to love ham, but is that something that, that you can do, do Jill? Is, I mean, if, if you do want to have a ham sandwich every once in a while, if you cook the ham, if you put it in a pan, yeah. is that okay? Yeah. So what I always say to women is if you have eaten a ham sandwich last week and you didn't know, then don't worry about it. So no point in worrying about stuff you can't change. Okay. But from the future, when you do find out you're not supposed to eat it, absolutely, just heat yeah. it up, put it in a pan, and that makes it all right to yeah. eat. And some pregnant ladies, I know some of my friends are okay with having a couple sips of wine, um, a couple sips of champagne if the whole group is. I've just decided to be teetotaler um, oh, yeah. oh, and, sure. and not do any of that. What, what do you recommend? Look, if you look at the recommendations, they do recommend absolutely no alcohol. If you break it down a little bit, uh, for the most, I've lost my hat. <laughs> One minute again. I'll give you a nice view while she runs to get it. if you take it when you're pregnant and continue to take it when you're breastfeeding can actually decrease the amount of well possibly decrease the amount of eczema in babies and possibly even reduce allergy cool. so worth doing absolutely anything else that we need to make sure we get more of besides you know, lots of leafy green vegetables you know lots of lots of fruit lots of ice cream and lots of chocolate cake and, is that okay every once in a while absolutely same as your regular life, if you feel like having a piece of chocolate cake, have a piece of chocolate cake. <laughs> just not every day. Yeah. A growing baby needs really good nutrition, so just eating lots of fresh, healthy fruit and veg, um, proteins, 
you know, like fish or meats. Very, very important. Cool. Anything else? Yeah, you know, you need to sleep. Pregnant ladies need lots of rest. Yes. So if you need a nap. Don't mind if I do, Jill. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so lots of, lots of sleep and, and lots of water, lots of healthy food, and a little bit of chocolate cake and ice cream is fine if you're with Absolutely. Well, right? <laughs> and enjoy it when you have it. Oh, very good. Okay, well, um, friends, I hope you enjoyed this nice medical chat that we had with my girl, Dr. Jill Gamber, on our weekly coastal walk. So, yeah, just soak that up. We've made it all the way from Bronte Beach during this chat to Tamarama Beach in this chat. And now we're going to power walk our way back to Bondi. Um, let's see. I'll check in with a few of you guys. Hello to you, Chaz. Hello to you. Love you always be in my heart. <laughs> Daddy Rags, what's up? Dr. Gamber. Go Panthers! Yes! Hey Debbie, how are you? Hello from NYC. Oh, how much do I miss New York City? <laughs> Love from Texas. Great weather. Yeah, it is unbelievable. It's gorgeous today. First One more look summer. for you. Pretty hot. Pretty yeah. Pretty sunny. Pretty lovely. Gorgeous. Okay, everybody, we'll chat soon. Bye.